Okay, here we are on the roof of Mosey Bass. And what I want to show here on the roof is the cause of all the problems of this building. Basically, the roof has not been looked after for 20 years. And as a result, water has gone into the building. Um, for a start, let's look. This is the felt. <clears throat> if we go down here, you can see there's cracks in the felt. So this is this is the waterproof felt, which keeps the water off, and it's cracked. And this is can you see that that's just all bare concrete. So any rainwater is soaking through into the concrete, and has got into the metal work underneath, rotted it, and expanded it, and cracks, and it's now rusted. So because we haven't maintained the felt for the last 20 years, as part of the restoration, we are going to have to completely take these flat roofs down and rebuild them. Uh, another problem, now can you see, we've got some, this is black guttering, it's brand new. If you come up here two years ago, there was no guttering here at all. And on a lot of these um, vents, or we call them the glass structures, there was no guttering, so the rainwater would pour off here, no guttering, straight onto the wooden seal, and has rotted the wooden seals, so it's long here, so you can see that along there, the seal has long gone, and someone's patched up with some lead. Uh, so again, the, again, because there's been no maintenance for 20 years, uh, the woodwork has rotted away. Another problem we have, because there's been no pon pointing of the brickwork, you can see how it's gone very deep in there, plants have gone inside, uh, and the roots are basically expanding you know, and remove, basically weakening the whole structure. You know, you should not be having little plants and trees growing in some there, growing out the structure. In fact, the down pipe is long gone. Um, squeezing through here, again, you see the felt is all, all the felt is cracked along there. This is a terracotta uh, windows for um, for pool two, and we had to rebuild these because the terracotta crumbled. And you can see the lighter coloured terracotta here. We have these specially made. That's the original. Ones in the middle have crumbled, so we've got some brand new ones built. Also, if you'd come along here two years ago, a lot of these slates had slipped or missing, so again, water was pouring in, inside. And it's, it's like the Amazon rainforest inside. Um, again, there was all slates that slipped down there, so water was going in. So in fact, you can see some slates have slipped down again since then. I mean, what we do need to do is take all these slates off, put some new wooden buttons on, and uh, put the slates back on again. Um, you see there, there's Mosley Road and School of Arts in distance. Uh, another interesting aspect you can see from it, you can see the... Um, the turrets for the library. Notice how it's a like a concave structure. But then when you look at the turrets for the baths, completely different design. So that's the library. That's the baths. That shows, you know, again, the example of different, even though they use similar materials, the design is actually different. Uh, you can see along there, see there, there's grass growing in the guttering. So, um, another aspect, and I'm going to squeeze back here. Now, the chimney. Can you see that? That's the by the house chim chimney. Got to squeeze through here. We actually, two years ago, took that chimney down all the way down to one, two, down to here. So we down brick by brick and rebuilt it because it was in danger of actually collapsing in a high wind. On the top is a cast iron capping which weighs about a ton. Again, we got overhead crane, lifted it off, sent it up to Loughborough, had it re-welded, all the cracks and, you know, all the hairline cracks. So, if, you know, if, God forbid, a, a nuclear bomb ever lands in Birmingham, that's where we're standing. Because the other thing is we've put stainless steel in a tube inside, so that will never fall down. That will always be here. Just got to get the rest of the building up to scratch. Again, you can see where all the felt has cracked along here. So all the water is soaking into the uh, into the flat roof structures. If you notice, also here we've got some new. Again, in the night two thousand four, these gables were about to fall out, pull out. 
So we took them down and rebuilt them. And that's some new strengthening girder there. And it's similar to that one there. You can see there's a strengthening girder. Again, took the gables down and rebuilt them. So that's Miles and Royal Baths. Um, you know, we, we want to restore it, but we do need to keep the pressure up. Um, please come and join Mosey Friends, sorry, the Friends of Mosey Row Baths. They do have a website on MySpace and help to get these baths fully restored.